right. Once again, I'm gonna go up for this. The Yahao, Basha, Meowshai, Basha, Mika, Kodash. That will answer the anterior process and here's a great millstone. <clears throat> so, all the Akams worldwide, I'm gonna say Shalom and be unto you. This is the word from the GMHJ.com. Just be honest, a quick edification, three spirits and the power of the most high and much shine. So you know tonight is the day of atonement. From sundown Sunday into sundown Monday. So you know it's a day to flick your soul. So the, day, the name of my edification is entitled A Flick Your Soul. You know? So I hope this will be edifying to you. how to go about on this holy day in a person here so he's still like from a camera a little bit where I can try to get a good position so I'll start over a little bit because chapter 23 verse 27 to 32 I'll actually start at 26 it says and the Lord of Abashim which I speak unto Moses saying also on the 10th day of the 7th month there shall be a the day of atonement, it shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord your Abashim Mishai. And ye shall do no work on that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your Abashim Mishai of power. For whatsoever soul it be, that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that do it anyway in that same day, the same soul will be destroyed, will I destroy from among his people. He shall do no manner of work, it shall be a statue in all your dwellings. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. <clears throat> it shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and it shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at evening. From evening unto evening, ye shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. And <clears throat> you know, this piece of atonement, um, it should go on to generation unto generation. It was never done away with. Well, you know, two-thirds of our people, they would be following Esau customs and these Edomite customs, or the so-called white man, they would be following um, Easter, they would be celebrating Boxing Day, and all these other holidays that are against the scriptures, against the Mosai Abashi Meshai. But today should be a day of afflicting your soul, which means humbling your soul unto the most I have shy. Fasting. And the fast should be a dry fast. Um, no food, no water. You know, and pray for mercies and pray for deliverance. Of the sin unto the most I have shy. You know? <coughs> so lucky, okay. So um, if you can stay away from work as well, um, you can do so, you know, no working, um, keep it holy as best as possible. If you have a business, close your business, you know, and so forth, so forth. Um, it's a day that is once a year, so it should be a custom <coughs> that you should be excited of keeping for the Lord, the Bashim Shai. Um, first, Second Corinthians chapter seven and verse one. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of power. How about Yeah, you know we're taking this time to ask the Most High Abba for forgiveness and the cleanse us of this filthy flesh that we are dwelling in right now. Because <clears throat> we know that the spirit constantly war against the flesh and the flesh constantly war against the spirit. So this is our opportunity to get a, a cleansing going on. And when you look at Sirach chapter 34 and verse 25 to 26, 
<coughs> lucky Akim. He that washes himself after the touching of dead bodies, if he touches it again, what a will it is washing. So it is with a man that fasted for his sins and go it again and do it the same. Who will hear his prayer? Or what do his humbling profit him? So you know, even we know we're gonna put in this dry fast and we're gonna do it until the Lord Yahabashim is shy. We're not just gonna do it this one time for this year and then for the rest of the year we're gonna live wicked because we say we keep the peace of atonement. It should be a continuation, um, you know, in keeping it until the Lord Yahabashim is shy and try to to uphold this practice throughout the year. Isaiah chapter 58, um, verse 5 to 8. It says, It is, and these are questions, you know, that has been asked. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? <coughs> Fuck yeah. And to spread sackcloth and ashes unto him? Would thou call this a fast? An acceptable day to the Lord of Habashim Is it not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that he break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, that thou cover it him? And thou that and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh, then shall thy light break forth as a morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord Yahabashemeshai shall be thy reward. And that's what we want. You know we want that this fasting is able to, to cleanse us and even bless us. You know, some brothers might be suffering some, um, with, mental, with, with certain physical issues. Some brothers might be suffering with certain mental issues. Some brothers might be suffering for whatever it may be. And who knows? This day of atonement and fasting may just be that breakthrough that you're looking for. You know? Pray that you both have a shabbat shabbat bless you brothers out there as well. Uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of power, Yahabashim Eshai, that present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reason of a service. <coughs> and that's our reason of a service that we're doing right now. <coughs> so like here. Because we know that we rehearse any righteous act in the land of our captivities. But you are still under the hands of these Edomites. We are still enslaved. But we are still rehearsing the righteous act until we can do it perfectly once we make it to the kingdom of the Mosai Ahab Hashem Eshai. You know? So take this time to do this dry fast unto the Lord Ahab Hashem Eshai and hope for deliverance and blessing. So that we can do this one more year if we are in this wicked ass kingdom one more year. <clears throat> but until then, we'll be practicing the righteous act in our captivity. So, um, you know, I hope it's very fine to you. You know, my device is giving some problems. I made this video before it crashed. <clears throat> it didn't upload, so I made it again. And now my battery is running low. So, I'll have to go on that arc You know, I hope it's very fine to you. With that, I want to give all praise to the Most High, Basham Mishai, Basham Kakodash. A double and be unto your apostles and there's a great man's stone. A shallow one to the elect. Shallow one.